okay so now let's go ahead and create the camera controller okay so in the scripts folder let's go inside the fighting controller and in here we will create a C sharp script by the name of camera controller then click on main camera and drag and drop this script then let's open this up in visual studio code all right so at the top first of all we will create a transform array by the name of targets and in this targets we will provide all of our player characters okay that is why I have made this an array then we will create a public float by the name of smooth speed which will be by default equals to 0 0.125 okay this will control the smoothness of camera movement then create a vector 3 by the name of offset this will be the offset of the camera from the player then if we get back right here okay uh, as I told you that we make the target an array because we will be having more than one player so for example if we have five player characters okay and for example if the first four are not active then what we want we want the main camera target to be equals to this fifth character which is active okay so we will only get the active player character and that will be set to the camera target okay so in order to find just the active player character for that what we're gonna do we will create a method by the name of find active target okay and in here we will start a for each loop in which we will say transform target in targets and then we will say if the target dot game object dot active in hierarchy then what we're gonna do we're gonna return that target all right else we're gonna return null right down below so now this will only select the active player game object now once we have this then what we want at the top is to add a late update method in which we will say if targets are null okay if we didn't provide any target or if targets dot length is equals to zero okay then in this case what we're gonna do we're gonna just simply return okay after this <coughs> let's find the active target so we're gonna say transform active target and this is going to be equals to this find active target method okay so once we have the active target then we will make sure that active target is not null if it is null then we will not move forward we will just return from here now if we have an active target then first of all let's calculate the desired position of the camera so for that we're going to create a vector 3 by the name of desired position which will be equals to active target dot position plus the offset okay then 
we will set the y position to the current camera position to keep it fixed vertically okay so desired position dot y will be equals to transform dot position dot y all right then after this we will smoothly move the camera towards the desired position so for that create a vector 3 by the name of smooth position this will be equals to vector 3 dot lerp then let's pass transform dot position then the desired position and then the smooth speed and write down below we will say transform dot position equals to smooth position so this is basically our whole camera controller so just save the script get back right here click on main camera and in the targets right here for now we just have one character so we just gonna drag and drop it okay and then we're gonna set the offset 6 uh, offset x to 6 and the z to 2 okay you can change these values that according to your own game but if I leave this on 6 and 2 you can notice when the game starts the camera now follows the player as you can see okay and as I told you you can change this value according to your own liking okay but I will leave it this to 6 and this to 2 like this or actually let's make it three that's it okay so with our camera controller completed let's end this video right here